Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a great Sunday. I'm actually getting a pretty late start to my day. Uh, I apologize for the uh, for the hat here. I actually had surgery a few weeks ago and I'm still actually kind of sporting a, uh, a bandage underneath this. So, um, how you guys been? It's been a while since I've actually created a video. Um, you know, we are, as many of you know, we're pretty deep into this um, coronavirus uh, pandemic most of us are you know being told to stay home so uh, I thought I'd come out here and take the Tesla for a drive kind of stretch its legs a little bit um, what I'm actually gonna do is see if I can pull into one of these parking lots so I can get some Sun uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull in anywhere here um, <clears throat> so I've actually been doing a little bit of work to my car um, since you know we've all been pretty pretty locked down I figured I'd take care of some little some projects that I've wanted to do um, I actually put a, uh, a spoiler from RPM Tesla on the car and this is the uh, it's the RPM uh, performance spoiler and this is the one that's actually uh, plastic they actually paint it for you um, I think it only I think I paid like 179 for it super easy to install um, I've done some other small things here and there as well um, mostly like interior stuff uh, and that's because well obviously I have I have plenty of time um, so I'm gonna try and figure out where I could park because as you know in Chicago, um, you know everywhere is paid parking, and I don't have good enough lighting in my garage to do some of the videos that I want to film. Um, so I'll, I'll try and figure out a spot where I can park. I might actually have to take it back around to uh, where I wanted to kind of park. So I guess why while I try and figure out where the heck I'm gonna pull over and park my car, uh, maybe this is a good time to kind of take you guys around Chicago and see what it's like right now that we're all under a stay-at-home order um, so at the moment like everybody else you can only go out for essential stuff um, you know I'm I use I actually just walk from my garage or from my apartment to my garage so I haven't really been around anybody definitely keeping my six feet of separation from everybody else and what's really funny about this whole quarantine is it certainly seems like there's a lot more people out exercising and you could definitely tell there's some people out there that I mean they probably haven't ran in years um, but now that there's a quarantine I think there's a lot of people that are kind of getting antsy and figure now is a good time uh, to get out there and start exercising and getting rid of some of that anxiety that some people have uh, which is a good thing, you know, I, I bet you there's going to be some people that, you know, they haven't ran in quite a few years and now they're out and about and they're starting to feel good, starting to stretch those legs. You know, if you haven't ran in a long time, uh, running is an entire full body, um, you know, thing. So you're going to use every single muscle in your body to start running. And uh, you get that first run in and, and your knees feel sore, your especially your calves. Uh, calves and tendons definitely feel really sore after a good run so um, uh, for those of you that haven't uh, been out running in a while and if you're just now starting again congratulations good for you guys keep it up uh, hopefully some of you guys keep it up well after uh, you know the whole quarantine is over and uh, you know definitely keep exercising as you can see there's not a ton of people out um, you know, it's Sunday here in Chicago. It's probably about 45 degrees. Uh, these temperatures, I mean, these cities, uh, the streets would be full of people walking around, uh, doing a little Sunday fun day, going to, um, you know, the bars, restaurants. A lot of these bars and restaurants around here, they have uh, Sunday specials, so you can come out and, um, you know, it's like an all-you-can-eat-and-drink for, I think, like 30, 40 bucks, something like that. So you could definitely come out here and enjoy yourself on a, on a Sunday, which I haven't actually partaked in that. You know, I'm getting a little bit older, so I can't be doing a ton of that stuff anymore. But um, I'm going to pull off to the side here and let this motorcycle go around. All 
right, so we're going to be going underneath. Uh, this is lower whacker. Um, let's see if we can get some good enough light for you guys to see down here, but. Um, down here is lower whacker, so <clears throat> up above is where a lot of buildings are. Um, and so down here you'll get a lot of um, a lot of the areas where <clears throat> people do deliveries. Uh, if you've never been to Chicago, it's kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, but once you've been through it a few times, you'll see there's there's actually a lot of people that are down there. Because um, sometimes you'll have workers that park underneath. Um, and that's where they actually park to, to go to work. So there's there's usually a lot of stuff going on down there um, so Occasionally you'll we'll see home, homeless people down there, but not so not so much uh, And again, you know around here most of the most of these places would all kind of just be um, Filled with people walking around enjoying themselves Especially now that uh, you know, we're coming out of winter here in Chicago. We had a really uh, mild winter in 2019 so uh, I think a lot of us were looking forward to uh, maybe spring coming early in 2020 and then this whole pandemic hit and uh, once it did start to get pretty warm down here in Chicago a lot of people started going out to the uh, the lake fronts uh, again to get their exercise in to start running again and unfortunately the mayor wasn't uh, too happy about that so they actually shut the lake front down um, what I was actually doing is I would actually take my car out and I'd actually go park uh, at one of the beaches because they had plenty of parking at the 30, uh, 31st Street uh, Beach. Uh, and I'd actually just go out there and, you know, get some sun in, just hang out in my car, listen to some music. Um, which, by the way, if you haven't checked it out yet, um, Twitch actually has quite a few DJs that are just doing live sets all day long which is actually pretty cool. There's actually been some really good DJs um, on there. I was actually pretty impressed with some of the stuff that I was seeing. So if you got some time, check that out. Um, but I was actually just hanging out at the beach, um, you know, just sitting in my car, uh, listening to music, um, you know, playing games on my phone. Uh, the Tesla does have games that you can play as well. Um, but unfortunately, after they did the, uh, the stop, uh, you know that you could only work uh, or excuse me that you can only um, that you had to stay at home They actually shut those beaches down and then uh, They shut a lot of the gates down as well. So you couldn't go in there and you couldn't park So I had to close that idea then I figured well if I got some time Maybe I'll just work on some little uh, some car projects that I've been wanting to get done I'll Try and find a, a relatively quiet street to park on because I don't think I'm going to get back around to park uh, where I wanted to. But let's just keep driving. You guys can check out Chicago if you've never been here before. Uh, pretty cool city, nice and chill. Even on, you know, even on the uh, even on the uh, the weekends when there is a lot of people out and about, uh, I'd say Chicago is still a pretty chill city. Um, even even when it is crowded. So as you can see, uh, lots of couples are out. Um, and you can see here, here's a perfect example where people are maintaining that six feet of separation between each other, so that's good. People out walking their dogs. Uh, a lot of restaurants here in downtown Chicago are also doing, you know, um, curb pickup curbside pickup um, they are still open for business but you know it's it's still not the same for a lot of um, a lot of restaurants are closed down they're not even doing curbside um, but you know people are still trying to maintain a sense of normalcy you know still going out for walks walking their dog still doing takeout even though uh, it might be better just to do uh, you know cooking at home uh, but you know you got to get out and you know it is it is funny seeing some people go out to exercise because they weren't doing it before the quarantine but then you tell people that they have to stay at home and suddenly everybody's like you know what I I, I am NOT gonna listen I'm just I want to go out for a walk and exercise so 
it's it's really a great social study and how when you tell a human being that they can't do something they're going to want to do it um so it, it's been interesting seeing that happen but for the most part here in chicago people are you know listening to uh the police orders to stay at home um you know like i was saying these, these streets are usually packed with people so people are definitely obeying uh, the rules you'll see a lot of people out going shopping right over there you see them they got some uh some grocery bags so definitely a very very interesting time i didn't think i'd see something like this in my lifetime but um you know it's one of those things that you just have to work through it is what it is um it could certainly be worse um you know we could certainly be in a, a time where um, we're not getting any type of supply replenishment, so you could go to the grocery store and suddenly there's a bunch of items that are no longer in stock and you can't buy them. But in this in this case here, um, you know, when you go to the grocery store, there's still food there. So that's, that's always a beautiful thing. You know, the electricity is still on, it's still running. Um, and so there, you know, even though you're told to stay home, there is still somewhat of a sense of normalcy in our daily lives um, and it you know like I said it could be worse it could be a walking dead type scenario where <laughs> uh, the electricity's off there's no food coming in um, you know people are just complete 100% panicking uh, it could be rioting in the streets so um, you know things are not normal but they're not 100% abnormal so Right, let's stop at a pharmacy and I'll show you guys uh, some of the work that I did. Maybe. I... All right, so what I did was uh, on the back here, I put this uh, RPM Tesla spoiler on. I thought it came out really good. One of the things that I kind of messed up on was right underneath here. I don't think I let. Uh, can, you, can you guys see it? I don't think I actually let that tape right here on the edge sit long enough. So unfortunately, as you can, uh, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but. Right over here you can actually see a little bit of that tape but you'd really have to like go out of your way to look for it and I thought it actually came out really good I think the uh, the paint matches up quite well uh, my car's a little bit dirty unfortunately um, and the other thing that I also did as well is uh, the rims I actually put spacers on the stock 18 inch rims so what it does it does is it actually pushes the uh, the rim out a little bit more so that it's flush with the body So I thought that actually came out really well. So this is what it looks like from the front um, As you can see the tires are uh, pretty flush with the body You could probably get away with doing um, 15 millimeters in the front and then 20s in the back What I did was I actually did 20 millimeters up front and then I did 25 millimeters in the back I think it came out really good. I'm not looking to lower the car at all um, I think that would just kind of end up causing some type of, uh, you know, some uh, alignment issues down the road. Once you lower the car, you'll kind of wear out some of your tires a little bit more. Um, so I think I'm just going to leave it stock as is. And I think that look comes out, looks really well. Uh, the other thing that I did was I picked up a white interior armrest. Um, I actually picked this one up from RPM Tesla as well. Uh, when I actually bought my Tesla, there was actually a little small blemish right here from the factory and I really didn't want to go through the hassle of having them replace it. So um, I wanted this to be white anyway to kind of match the rest of the interior. Uh, and this one actually came out really well. Uh, it actually came out better than I thought it would. Um, when you actually get this from RPM Tesla, it might have a little bit of wrinkles, but uh, you know as your car sits and this has time to go through expansion and contraction you'll, actually, you'll see that um, a lot of the wrinkles that you might see in the very top they're going to smooth out a little bit and uh, I'm actually really happy with this this uh, color actually matches the, the rest of the interior quite well alright guys so I think I'm going to call this one a day uh, I think I found the place that I want to uh, buy a kay kayak and bring it down to uh, obviously once I get some more information but I think I'm going to call this one a day. I think I've done enough driving around for one day. Uh, I'm going to take the Tesla, get it charged. Uh, I'm going to check out that spoiler just to make sure that it's adhering just fine. Uh, but otherwise, I appreciate you guys driving around with me today. Uh, if you have any comments about the uh, 
Tesla, you know how it looks with the um, the spacers. Feel free to leave a comment below. If you guys like that spoiler, let me know. Just feel free to leave a comment. And if you have any questions about, you know, a standard range uh, Tesla Model 3, remember this is the uh, $35,000 version. Um, gets 220 miles, but I only get about 215 fully charged. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys.